Among the many pilgrims who filled the streets after Pope Francis's general audience, these three men didn't go unnoticed. We came to Rome to distribute books and inform people of Vedic culture, which is not very different from the message of Jesus. They follow the spirituality of Hare Krishna, which they say has many similarities with Christianity. They also say they greatly admire Pope Francis. We feel great respect for Pope Francis and for all representatives of any religion. Everyone needs a spiritual master, and he is the representative of the Lord himself. He tells us how we should behave to achieve life after death. In addition to their respect for the Pope, they also say they have great admiration for other religious figures like Saint Therese of Avila from Spain. One of them even participated in a homage to her around the time of her 500th birthday. Because the way of religion is not only a path of flowers, there are also thorns. In those thorns, we abandon the ego. She professed great love and affection for the message of Jesus. Even though their presence drew the attention of pilgrims and tourists, the relationship between the church and Eastern religions has improved considerably in recent years. An important moment came during the World Day of Prayer for Peace, which was convened by John Paul II in the Italian town of Assisi back in 1986. Even more recently, Pope Francis also calls on other religious leaders to the Vatican to sign a global agreement against human trafficking.